Well, Angelo Dosa works with this stuff all the time. He's here to kind of keep us on track, I guess. And Angelo, why don't you take us through the main steps here? Sure, Dean. Um, what we're doing here is attaching this clear membrane to the wall, but before we do this, we have to make sure we mark uh, the plates in these ICFs. And we have the poly wall put on top, and then what we've done is, with a Sharpie, we've marked the actual plates in behind so that now we can attach the, uh, the orange fasteners into the plates. From that point, what we've done is we've brought the membrane right up to the top, so this would be the finished grade, and we're using these plugs screwed into the foam so then we can attach our channel or our flashing channel to go on top with caulking in behind into these plugs. Okay, and this will keep any water then from getting down in behind there for sure. That is correct. However, I want to point out that if water does get in behind, uh, Dean, with these air gap membranes, we have two lines of defense. The first line of defense would be your barrier, and the second line of defense would be the air gap. If water were to get through, once it gets through, it'll take its least path of resistance, go down, and once it goes down, it'll go right into the drainage tile. Yeah. So a combination of our adhered membrane and this air gap membrane, I mean, we should be in pretty darn good shape. Yes, you're definitely approaching the belt and suspenders. That's what we were saying, belt and suspenders. That's, that's where we want to end up on this one. Exactly. <laughs> Well, thanks so much for the help. Oh, you're very welcome. Yeah.